apparitions in Mill Street. Near the town centre and running alongside the River Stour is the ancient Mill Street, well known by Kidderminster folk because of the hospital at the northern end between the road and the Stour. Liz was a nurse there. Mill Street Hospital was built as General Hospital in the 1850s. The place had the reputation of being haunted, as most hospitals do, particularly by the ghost of one surgeon, John Stretton, who actually died on duty in the hospital. He was reputed to visit the wards at two in the morning. You're always expected to see him in the early hours. We used to keep the curtains round the beds closed at nights, so that the lights didn't shine on the patients. I was on duty one night in one of the wards, and I saw all the curtains drawn aside, one by one, as if someone was walking through the ward. I thought it must be a draught. I got up and checked the windows, but they were all closed, and the door wasn't open. Graham used to run the Flamingo pub in Mill Street during the 1970s. Further along the road was the Coach and Horses pub. Do you know we heard the coach and horses going up our road several times? This would happen about midnight or in the early hours of the morning. They used to wake me up in the night. You could hear the horses' hooves galloping and the wheels rumbling. That story was taken from Ghosts, Murders and Scandals of Worcestershire by Anne Bradford. I actually bought the book off the author in 2017 and she signed it for me he says to kevin happy haunting and bradford i can highly recommend the book i'll put a link in the description below it is available on amazon as are quite a few of her other books as well highly recommended some great stories in there or local as well i actually did a bit of research on john stretton he was born in kidderminster in 1888 He served as a surgeon during the First World War. Both his um, father and grandfather were surgeons. And John Stretton died in um, 1952, actually while he was on duty at the hospital. And he was giving out awards to the nurses when he collapsed and died. Uh, And that ended a 100 years of Stretton surgeons in Kidderminster. And I imagine that's probably why... Stretton Road is called Stretton Road in Kidderminster, which I used to live round the corner from. I couldn't help myself, I had to come back at midnight to see if I could hear the rumble of the cart and the horse's hooves. Fortunately I didn't, but never know, someone might hear something that I didn't. <laughs> If you have a spooky tale you'd like to share, please drop a comment below and I'll get in touch with you and then maybe feature it on the channel. Thank you very much. See you next time.